If you're thinking of buying a telescope as a gift for your loved ones, then you've come to the right place. Previously, we made part one of this video and suggested some telescopes according to the astronomy level of the person. The telescopes mentioned in that video are still a good gift, and you can watch that video here. In this video, we'll recommend five such telescopes that are extremely beginner-friendly and can be used by any astronomer regardless of skill level. The first telescope is the StarSense Explorer 130AZ. StarSense telescopes are designed to make astronomy extremely easy for beginners. These telescopes can be used with the help of your phone and make stargazing very easy, like playing a video game. So these StarSense telescopes are the perfect choice for beginners who are just starting out with stargazing. The StarSense Explorer 130AZ is the biggest aperture-sized non-Dobsonian telescope in this series. This is a reflector-type telescope. The telescope has an aperture of 130 millimeters, around 5.1 inches, and a focal ratio of 650 millimeters. With this telescope, you can see the Moon, Jupiter, Saturn, and its rings. You can also see some bright deep space objects with this telescope. If you want to know more about this telescope, then we've already explained everything about this telescope in this video, which you can watch here. The second telescope is the StarSense Explorer 8-inch Dobsonian. Dobsonian telescopes are the most cost-effective. One of the most important parts of a telescope is its aperture. The bigger the aperture, the clearer and sharper the images you can see. Usually, when you buy a normal 8-inch telescope, it will cost you quite a lot of money. But if you buy the same 8-inch Dobsonian telescope, then it will cost you much less. Usually, a Dobsonian telescope does not have a computerized mechanism to guide your telescope through the night sky. The Dobsonian telescopes that have this computerized tracking mechanism are called Intelescope. The StarSense Dobsonian works with your phone and is very easy to use. This makes these Dobsonian telescopes a really good option to get started with stargazing. With this telescope, you can see the Moon, Jupiter and its moon, Saturn and its rings, the Orion Nebula and star clusters. We have also explained the StarSense Dobsonian telescope in detail in this video. And if you want to learn more about different Dobsonian telescopes, you should watch these videos on the channel. The third telescope is the Skywatcher SkyMax 150 Pro. The Skywatcher 150 telescope is not completely ideal for beginners, but with a little bit of effort, this telescope can also be used by beginners. The telescope is a Maxitov Cassegrain type telescope. We've explained these different types of telescopes in these videos, so make sure you watch them. This telescope has an aperture of 150 millimeters or around six inches. Its focal length is 1800 millimeters and its focal ratio is 12. This telescope is very compact and you get only the optical tube assembly with it. You have to purchase them out separately for this telescope. MAC telescopes have a very long focal length and are very good for observing the planets and nearby objects in great detail. The higher focal length helps you zoom in on the nearby objects to observe the small details of those objects. This telescope is perfect for people who really want to look at planets and nearby objects in great detail. The fourth telescope is the Zummel Z100. This is another small tabletop Dobsonian telescope this is the cheapest telescope in this list of telescopes and is perfect for beginners who are on a tight budget. This telescope has an aperture of 100 millimeters or around 4 inches and a focal length of 400 millimeters and its focal ratio is 4. Usually Dobsonian telescopes are big and heavy, but this small tabletop Dobsonian model is very lightweight. This makes this telescope very easy to carry around to different stargazing locations. With this telescope, you can see the Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn. So if you want a budget telescope, this is a really good choice that won't break the bank. The fifth telescope is the Nexstar Evolution 8 Edge HD. This is the most expensive telescope you can find on this list. The telescope is huge and has great performance. 
Usually this telescope is for the advanced level of astronomer, but a beginner can also use it very easily. This telescope is built in such a way that even a beginner can get the maximum benefit from it. This is a Schmidt Cassegrain type telescope. The telescope has an aperture of 8 inches or 203 millimeters. Its focal length is 2032 millimeters with a focal ratio of 10. On top of that, the optics of this telescope come with Edge HD technology. The Edge HD technology will give you sharper and clearer views of any object you're looking for. With this telescope, you can see the moon, planets, and deep space objects. And with some adjustments, you can also do astrophotography with this telescope. If you want a telescope that will last you for 8 to 10 years, then you can definitely go with this telescope. You can watch a detailed review of this telescope in this video. So that's it. These are some of the good telescopes you can consider as a gift. If you didn't like the telescopes mentioned in this video and want to buy a different telescope, then the most important factor you should consider while buying a telescope is its aperture size and a sturdy mount. A bigger aperture gives sharper images and a sturdy mount offers good stability.